All right then, folks. Got these today to have a look at. Umbrella credit weather and paint pens. I've already uh, had them out and set them up. So we need a bit of a primary before you first use them. Get six colours in the set. You get grass green, dark grey, light grey, natural wood, rust, and a car key. This is rust, apparently. It's very red. Not necessarily sure that I'll show you on this model. It's very red indeed. Once you smear it in a bit, get it moving about. Gives off a more of a rust look. I think rather than for weathering, I'd use these for graffiti as such. One of my buildings here. There we go. That's the red. A bit on from each car. Got the car key. The natural wood, which is like a yellow colour. Let's do three spug. Spug. Grass green. Dark grey. So I've smudged that there. My hand, you've got to be careful. Take your time with them. Where I've lent across, I've smudged that. I'll go back in and sort that out in a second. Not sure you're right here, shouldn't you? Right? Yes. And handy, I've got atrocious handwriting. Shall we do? Just a little smiley face. So that's what I'm gonna probably use these for is graffiti. It's graffiti and stuff. Um yeah, not too bad. That's less than a tenner as well, which I think is pretty good for what they are. And you see the green, the grey and the green are a little bit more fluid, if that's the right word. You can see they're they're moving on the surface. They're not they're not staying to the shape of the of the letters, unlike the other colours. Um, the red's bleeding a little bit, so that's to be expected. Um, yeah, pleased with them. I shall be using them for graffiti. So you can see the red, the rust is not rust. It's too bright a red for it to be rust. If you mix the red and the uh, and the natural wood together, you might get a rust colour. Um, but yeah, the red's not a rust colour in my book. But there you go. Anyway, that's only a quick one. Uh, see everyone next time.